Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I create my watercolour galaxies. And I have a few examples to show you before we jump in. I'll go through all the materials and what I like to use to create mine. But my favourite thing about creating watercolour galaxies is they all end up differently, which you will see by these examples. And these ones are in plastic sheets already and they do have prices on them because they are available on my Etsy store if you were interested. But I'll link um, the store below for you. I use uh, watercolour concentrates to create these and I'll show you which ones I use as well as a white gel pen to get the really crisp stars. I will also sometimes use salt um, and I'll show you an example of what that looks like in a second but all of these end up different even if you use the same colours over and over again they are still always going to end up with different which is my favourite thing about it. This is the effect that you get with salt. Um, it kind of gives little starburst effects which is something that can be really cool. But all different, all unique as well. I also like to add constellations to mine. This one I have added in silver. I sometimes add them in white as you will see in these two framed examples which are like a birth details that you can get. These are also available to order on my Etsy store. So they can be customised. The um, star sign constellation can be customised and obviously the name and the birth information as well. But they are all unique, they are all one of a kind, so let's go ahead and get started. So for my galaxy today I'm going for a circle shape. You obviously do not have to, you can do it in whatever shape, you can cover the whole page, it's up to you. I do suggest if you are doing the whole page use a thick weight paper and tape it down. Um, because even with the thicker paper it will buckle a little bit but to create my circle nothing fancy all I used was a candle holder found the center just measuring the sides and traced around it you could use a compass if you want but I didn't want to get a mark on the paper so my circle is ready to go and today I will be using Bombay Indie Inks by Dr. P. H. Martin and I'm using five different colours as you might be able to see above here. I will be using blue, teal, turquoise, green and also a little bit of yellow for highlights. I will also be using my Hydrus Watercolour Concentrate in 2H Payne's Grey as well. This is the paper I am using. I'm using hot pressed and it is 300 GSM. See what you like between hot pressed and cold pressed. It's really up to you what you would like and what you prefer. I always have two glasses of water with me. One for rinsing off the brush and one for getting clean water. Always have paper towel or some form of towel, something that you can drain your paintbrushes on. I have two different paintbrushes. I have a thick one for laying my water wash down and then I'll be using this to apply and move around the paint. I also have a white gel pen which I will be using to create the stars once it has dried. And I will also be adding some table salt. This is just one that I got. You don't have to use Himalayan pink fine table salt. Um, experiment with all the different kinds of salt to see what you like but you add this on before it is dry. And the last thing you will need is a palette. It's not the best looking one but it's rather colourful and that is what I will be using today. That is all my supplies. I'm going to stop talking now, put on some music
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and you got something out of seeing my time lapse. Here is the finished product. The only thing I have to do now is sign the bottom before it goes to its new owner. As you can see, it really comes to life when you add those stars to it at the end. And I also like to add some other key ones. And this one is going to a new baby who is going to be an Aries. So I added his star sign constellation. But you can really see the colours. I really like to do vibrant ones. But please let me know if you've got any questions below in the comments. And I will see if I can answer them. The only other thing I wanted to add, as you can see... You can see some areas where I did add the salt, it did have a slight effect. This is really comes out different every time and it depends when you add the salt. I took a little bit longer with placing the colours on this piece um, so it wasn't as wet as it would be at other times. When it's more wet you do get more of the starburst effect because the salt absorbs a lot of the water and the colour from around it. Um, but because I did take longer, it wasn't as wet, but you do still get a cool effect with having the salt on it. It draws a little bit up and also leaves a darker mark. So have an experiment with the salt as well, but yeah, that's about it. Let me know if you've got any questions. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. Give me a like, give me a subscribe. And apart from that, I will see you guys next time.